uh, we're at the area where aircraft projected by catapults would have left this deck and proceeded off into action. Okay. Could you tell us more about the catapults? I was really interested just listening earlier, and I think your viewers are interested as well. This is not a long deck to to get a running start at as an airplane. No, it's not, and uh, you need to, you need to build up flying speed in a hurry. Otherwise, the plane is uh, you know going to settle and go right into the water, which did happen on occasion, but. Um, I mean, the catapult uh, actually helps accelerate uh, the airplane. They had, you know, there were two things. They would turn the carrier into the wind, so you have wind coming down the flight deck already. So you have you have that advantage. Then, of course, they would they would run it up to speed. So you've got another maybe 20 knots of speed as well, uh, and then you get an added boost with the uh, with the catapult shot. Um, and it was something that they were it was a technology that they were developing over the course of the war as the ship as built. Uh, had a, only a single catapult, uh, you know, but they added the uh, the second one, and uh, you know it sped obviously the the launching process allowed them to to get a strike in the air that much faster and was safer for the pilots as well, you know, who were generally going to be overloaded with uh, fuel and and uh, bombs uh, or torpedoes for their missions. Yep, and I think our viewers are yeah. seeing like a, you know. A cantilevered thing throwing a plane in the air. Is that the right vision that they yeah. should have for a catapult? No, no. It's not like a medieval, you know, uh, trebuchet or something. Okay. It's, uh, it should be exciting. You know, there's that a... That would uh, be exciting. There's a slotted track that okay. runs down, uh, you know, uh, the length of the um, of the, uh, the flight deck. And uh, there's like a, a, a shuttle uh, that, you know, the plane is hooked onto and then is pulled forward along the, uh, along the deck. So... Fabulous. Just, Just adventures in science communication. I could see oh, someone sure. drawing a, a were these steam airplane catapult. Power, steam catapults? Steam catapults, yes. They were, yeah. they were actually were steam. It was the first generation steam catapult. Okay. So just to quickly jump in, thanks to John Lambert, he's pointed out that that reel we were looking at is for fire hose. Ah, ah. yay. <laughs> Bear in fire mind, hose. fire is a deadly thing on a ship, and in particular in combat. Uh, Exploding ordnance, gasoline spilled, aircraft crashes, as well as bombing, all of which are going to require firefighting. Uh, you're going to, we have hose reel, and we will see as we continue our survey, fire hose in a few spots. I thought I did actually see some uh, at one point, one point on the bow. I thought. Well, that was a real danger, and and you know, with these straight decked carriers, you know, when you're recovering your aircraft, that you have to spot them. Uh, up forward, so they're just all parked, you know, stacked in the front of the, the ship, and uh, you know when you have the planes coming in, landing, and some of them, you know, maybe damaged or the pilot is wounded, and uh, you know if they miss the arrestor wire and, and get past the the, the, uh, the barrier, um, you know the plane could could crash into the the other planes, uh, uh, you know, forward, and start a a fire, which would be an extreme uh, danger. I wonder if the cable and whatnot we're seeing here is related to somehow uh, holding, you know, lashing or whatever for the um, range poles. Or do you think they just welded them in place without any wire? It's hard to tell from the photos. They didn't look like they had guide. They didn't seem to be wired on the photos. No, they, they don't. And I guess that pipe, that's why going down, that's why it would fold and bend like it did. So who knows why all the, all the line is here. Okay, we need to keep going. Yeah. <coughs> well, you'll be swinging a little bit still. What'd you say? You'll keep swinging a wee bit more, but yeah, we should move a bit. Oh, uh, yeah. You know, while we're over the catapults and we were discussing them, I just mm -hmm. wanted to share a, a story. Um, I was told by a, a veteran uh, TBF pilot uh, who actually sailed on a sister ship of the Independence. It was, he was on the Cabot, uh, CVL-28. Uh, and was preparing for a strike. They'd actually launched we uh, spin around the face. everyone else uh, but him. He was the last one cool waiting on the cat. Starboard. And I'm the ship came under attack down. and had to uh, take evasive action. So he was left uh, sitting in his aircraft, port. helpless, okay. well, while, can, the, plane, uh, too, while the ship was maneuvering. And uh, this was the first time that uh, the ships had come under attack by uh, kamikazes. And one of them came in. And it came in and passed over him so low Actually, yeah, I guess that, that it sense. knocked the propeller off the front of his plane and then impacted in the forward port uh, gun gallery, uh, the 40-millimeter mounts, wiped out the crews there, 
And he said the next thing he knew, he was in the midst of an inferno. There was gas, gasoline and fire raging all around his plane, and he was able to, to climb out and yell to his crew to, to jump for it, and, and they got to cover. And there are photographs, you know, after the action of his plane sitting there on the left cat with no propeller on it. Uh, it's just incredible what these men went through in these ships.